Hello again, my lovely friends. Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to How to Kill a Kit with a Style Kit Reveal for September 2022. Some of these will roll over from August. I have found best for me. I choose six different kits to play with throughout the month. And um, last month I killed three of them, I believe. So I think this is working best for me. So we are going to pull this one in from last month. This is the Maggie Holmes Round Trip Collection. And I am using it to scrap our Chicago trip, the sightseeing portion of the day, not the concert and Wrigley Field. We've still got the washi. And... Which is kind of all of this off. We still have lots of paper. Um, in the paper pad, I've kept all the scraps because you never know when you might need it. I've got plenty of thickers left and still lots of vowels, but I have made several titles. Um, I've got the 6x12 or 12x12 12 12, a sticker sheet here. Used a lot of that last month. I'm hoping to finish this off this month. The thickers, the 6x8 paper pad, the sticker book. So I did actually use a lot of this. So looking to get more of this used up this month, if not all of it. Um, do have a lot of pictures to scrap, right? Got puffy stickers. We have two packs of ephemera, which I'm going to need to focus on this month. The little enamel shapes, and I've put in the Golden Gates and Summer Sunset Spiegel Bomb scraps sequins, along with Pixie, Sage, Lilac, and Bluebell from Close to My Heart, and 99% sure that the majority of them are retired. So that is kit one. This is now how I use my project tray. Kit two, <laughs> oh, kit two is a sad kit. Kit two is the Coco Vanilla Studios No Limits, and you will see that this is probably going to be the first one that I kill off. Hopefully, um, we have a lot of pre-made titles, so you will see these kind of appear throughout the month. I'm going to use these on more than just this collection, so I've got a lot of those left. I've got a lot of the pocket cards left. I'm going to try to color this with an alcohol marker because it says cool kid. The little planets. I believe there's only three die cuts in there. We have epic and awesome. Some die cut pieces. Um, cut aparts. All of these are scraps. And then some of the A5 paper stack. I've thrown these in there as well. And I only have one 12 by 12 sheet of paper left. Y'all know if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, I am, I've used this kit. I've selected this kit to be my Stash Smash Saturday that I play along with my good friend um, Jackie, who is JQ Crafty here on YouTube. And so be able to get one more layout, hopefully get a lot of this used up, and kill it off. This is a new one. I recently reorganized all of my collections and uh, found the ones that I'm like, okay, I need to work on this. I need to get this kind of used up, right? So this is an old hip kit. I've got some scraps. And then I have, this is Wanderer, so we've got that one. Now I'm going to go through this one in more detail because it hasn't been on my, you know, rotation. I love this. I love this collection and I don't know why I've never used it. This is like beautiful. And then the scraps, obviously, we have a little bit of this one and then that one left. Now what we have here in our little bag, um, this, I don't know if it's going to go or not, I think it's too bright, but I might map my photos in some of that. 
I do have these acetate mandalas. We have got the ephemera for the, for the Flourish collection. So we have build a bloom pack so you can bake the flowers with the buttons and such. So I need to make a layout that looks like that. Um, sticker die cuts, all butterflies. Some wood veneer. Loving that. We've got these pre-made titles. So we've got Family Vacay, Sunny, Having the Best Time, Laugh, Summer, Best Photo of My People, and Relax. Definitely need to get those used up. Along with some alphas. These kind of difficult for me because you know I like to do my own mixed media. <laughs> but perfect if you don't like to do your own mixed media. So I'm going to figure out a way to incorporate these into a background, but they are just acetate pieces, so that is kind of cool. I have all of these border strips. And then this these two funky funks. This is octagon and circle and then you pop them out and make frames. So I'm looking forward to kind of creating a couple layouts with that. So that's kit two. Kit three is a big one. So kit three here. This is what's left over from last month. The wonders collection. I just threw it in here. But this is the Biggie Mitten Sweet Rush. So, let us just do this. Boom, okay. Got all the washi. There was a lot of washi in this collection this time. All right, we've got the paper pads. Vicky is double-sided. I have got that the acetate piece. Now, I don't know if I've used this at all. Um, but look at this. And I've got print shop on order. So, yeah, I just finished off the one page oven. So, I'm pretty excited about that. But you guys have seen this. This is just beautiful. So, I'm going to finish out the Georgia trip and start using this for our vacation. Right? Love it. And then it repeats. So, it's the entire paper pad. I also have the 6x8. Oh, I like how they're together. So that's fun. Very pretty colors. We've got the alpha. We've got the little puffy stickers. The sticker sheet. The chipboard stickers. You know me, gotta get my stencils. I always get the key sten stencils. So those are cute. We've got the layered hearts. The ephemera. Um, this was the little, uh, what is it? They're just embellishments, but you can create a little mini book out of them, so I don't know. I'm going to figure out how to do something with that. The little puffy stickers. The sticker book. So it doesn't look like I've used this at all, ever. And I think, when did this come out, you guys? Last year. And we're halfway through this year. So it was about last year at this time, right? Maybe at the beginning. So it's over a year old. More embellishments. Those cool paper clips. And I always get on my pre-orders from a cherry on top affiliate link down below. I've thrown in some Spiegel Mom scrap sequins, lavender filled, blue raspberry bubblegum, and a perfect moment. It's because it goes with it well. And this one. So that's kit four. Kit five is one of those ones that I'm like, I need to get this out of my craft room. And... Since we did kind of, we were out in nature for our 2022 vacation, I have pulled in this whole monstrosity that I've had kitted together for quite some time. So, this is from 2019, <laughs> the Happy Trails collection from Simple Stories. So we've got this paper pad, 
or paper. This paper. This one. Now, you know, I'm going to try to figure out and make the best. However, I do have photos. My father-in-law took his, took the grandkids, so my stepdaughter, to Colorado for hiking, and they went fishing and stuff. So this might be really good to start using that on, right? But there's just not enough here to, uh, um, and then there's just, like, random stuff in here. But there's not enough here to do the whole, all the pictures. So there's just random scraps in here. I have used it a time or two. Um, this is Summer Camp by Echo Park, so we've got that sticker sheet. I have these close to my heart compliments that I did not even know was in here. I'm thinking about it, I might be able to, this one's a acetate piece, not acetate, uh, you know what I'm trying to say. Here are all of these that I would like to try to use. I think I can add to this. I think there's another close to my heart. I need to look. I'll grab that in a minute. Whoa. Chipboard pieces that are all falling out. Just a few letters, not even sure if I'm going to be able to use those. Bow Bunny layered chipboard. So we had a fish and a bobber. Got the Happy Trails, some of the journaling bits, so I don't really know what's all in there. We've got the Cabin Fever. Um, looks like things are falling out. Apparently, whatever I was doing, I pulled those to use, and I have the Cabin Fever um, sticker sheets. So all kinds of fun little sticker sheets. This is before the vintage collection started to come out, right? Alright, so there's that. I'm going to grab one more thing to add to this. Let's make it a little bit bigger because I totally forgot about the Colorado trip, so give me one second. This is the one I was talking about. Close to my heart, the Wander Collection. So I'm going to add this to it as well because it's got the same mood and feel to it. We've got all of the, the pocket cards, which will work for the Colorado trip, and some of our... Battlefield Adventures. So these will be cool. I can create some pocket pages with these. There's a bug flying around and it is annoying me. A little nap. Okay. Cuts, fussy cut some of those out as well. Now this was before I didn't save branding strips. We've got those, so we're just going to throw them in there. Here's the scraps. I think I've made one layout with this collection. Um, somebody asked if I would do a collaboration with them. They were close to my heart consultant too, and I was like, yeah, sure, you know. And this was the collection that they had chose, and I was like, whatever. I don't, I don't like it. So, obviously I tried to use what I could, but we got the die cuts. And I'm a close to my heart consultant, so... I've got the sticker sheets and um, two papers. Nope, that's a lie. Three. So we've got this one, this one, and this one left. So hopefully we can get that used up. So that is kit five. And our last kit, you did see me play with this a few times last month because I brought it in because one of my other, you know, I was killing so many of those kits off. Um, but I, we've got this beautiful collection here. So some of it is used, but it is 
the 12 by 12 collection kit, the simple vintage coastal. So I've been using this for our vacation as well. And you know, I'm just kind of like randomly grabbing um, pictures throughout the vacation because I don't need to do it in sequence. That's how I used to do it, but I don't, I don't have enough of one collection to do all 700 pictures. I know, insane. So anyway, these are gorge on every stinking level. But again, simple, the Simple Stories Simple Vintage Collections are my all-time favorites. I think there's nothing that compares to these. For me, it, this is definitely, you know, my jam. There are going to be doubles of these in here. So bear with me because I did kind of, and not even kind of, I did. I tore it all apart as I was looking for stuff. Now this is going to be, this is Kiwi and Seaside. These are those. Uh, basically their cardstock option. This is guava and sand. Ocean and coral reef. And there's what those are. More of the paper. So like I said, it's all mixed together. Look how beautiful that is. Like the mixed media is already done. What? I got a lot of the, that sheet. Anybody else think that? Here are some of the scraps that I have from previous layouts. We've got the 6x8 paper pad as well. A lot of good stuff in here to go through. Get repeated. Alright. In good fashion, I've got two of these sticker sheets, so I'll work my way through them. We've got the sticker book. I've already been using it, like I said. I think I just used it on one layout. I'm not real sure. It was a fun one, though, wasn't it? got the chipboard. I feel like it was a Bruce Monroe Live. Somehow I ended up with two of these paper pads, so go me. Some more paper scraps. Somehow I've got this. Um, wax. Is that up there? Should be in there? I'm going to try to use up all of this sheet. I've pulled in these stickers as well. They're a hip kit exclusive. Summer Bliss, so I think these are like several years old. I've got puppy stickers. I've got just a few of these left. So I probably think like maybe four or five of these uh, page pieces. And then tons of the embellishments. So that's it, you guys. That is it. Those were my six kits. Wish me luck. Don't forget to check everyone else out down below who is revealing their kit for September. Oh my G. September. Where did this year go? I say that a lot. All right. So I got to get to making some stuff with these. See you guys later. Bye.